Thanks, Paula. And thank you, everyone, for, for uh, coming along today. And uh, for those of you that are watching it later on, welcome as well. So um, I really want to take you on a bit of a journey today. And uh, I think as we uh, said, orig as, as was originally stated, the f there are some outcomes that we want to get out of this session. So we want to look at uh, understanding the power and construct of stories, how to stand out for all the right reasons, how to build consistent engagement, the impact of change, and uh, getting more of the audience you love, which is really what everything that I do is actually about, all of the things that Paula mentioned is about. What I wanna do, particularly for the first part of this session, is to tell some stories and uh, enable you eventually to sort of deconstruct so you can construct your own. And as Paula alluded to, I do have a, uh, an opportunity at the end that I can tell you about a little bit more. Uh, where we can make all of this uh, as effortless as possible for you to create amazing content. So let me get into it um, and start it off with, I just wanted to give you, I'm not gonna go into any detail about this, but just to let you know that there's a framework for success that I have built around all of these individual elements here. And uh, again, at the end of the session, I'll have uh, another mention of this, but just know that everything I do is built around all of these ideas of community, connect, credibility, content, collaborate, consumables, and then the most important parts really the inner areas, the brand, audience, need, delivery, and substance. So um, that is what is the foundation of everything that I do. So let's start with story time, okay? So I'm really interested um, and, I, and I want to engage a few of you in the chat as, as we can along the way. When I say story time, what's a memory that, that it evokes? Is there something that comes to mind straight away? So just what, what do you think about when I say story time? So if anyone wants to put something in the chat, just let me know. Reading to my child, yep. And I imagine also it would be uh, being read to as a child. I, I gather we all have some memories of that sort of thing. Yep, kindergarten is another is another one in there. Absolutely. And so, um, and glory stories, okay. And Miss Helena, yes, I remember Miss Helena. Um, so if we have a look, you know, you kind of think about it, this is where you go, right? Story time immediately, interestingly enough, takes you back to, you know, I put Dr. Zeus here, but I'm sure there are plenty of books that... Uh, that you'll remember. And what's really interesting about it is, is you straight away go to an emotional connection, right? We've immediately evoked a really powerful memory, either of being a child or talking of, of reading to our children. So what I'm gonna do today is actually tell you a couple of stories. And I want to show you how stories can have a long lasting impact and um, how stories can change the narrative. Stories can grow and there can be stories within stories and mostly how engaged you can be by a story with very few facts and still be connect with people and be memorable. And I can tell you that great businesses are all about the stories they tell. Mm -hmm. 